Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, Ba Shem Uh The true names of the Heavenly Father is only begotten Son. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught us his truth. Peace, love, and salutations to the whole Follet. I can teach and preach this truth with all righteousness and sincerity. It's a walking talk. And I'll be uh, entitled in this through the Spirit, delight thyself also in the Lord. And um, you have to delight in this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You have to delight in the truth. All right? If this truth doesn't give you comfort, if you don't feel a sense of delight being called to the ministry, doing the work, and offering your body as a living sacrifice, then that doesn't um, enable you to be a man of the Lord. All right. When you when you read the scripts and wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter speaks about the righteous man standing in great boldness, you know, out there doing the work. You know, all the men of the Lord was out there doing the work. Ezekiel, the spirit entered into Ezekiel. He, he went and he was teaching the children of Israel. Yahweh Shai, the apostles, Jeremiah, you know, you have to delight in the word of the Lord, you have to delight yourself in this calling. Now it is balance, you know. You're gonna experience trials and tribulations. That's a part of serving the Lord. But most importantly, you have to delight in this truth. This is Psalm 37 and 1. It says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Fret meaning getting irritated, getting grieved because of these evil, wicked ass people of the world. Whether it's your baby mama, whether it's motherfuckers at work, or whether it's just people in the world. You know, you at Walmart, you at Target, people doing little stupid shit. You know, you seeing Esau prosper in wickedness. You can't you can't get grieved at that because at the end of the day, you gotta understand that this is all the will of the Lord. Man's goings is of the Lord. You know, we just gotta do our part. Let them do their part, and we do our part. Neither be thou envious of workers of iniquity. Jealous. You know, jealous of these niggas prospering. Did you see Jake? You know, out here prospering on wickedness. But like the second verse says, For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. The Lord gonna cut their ass down. The Lord gonna pull that spir spiritual lawnmower out, and cut their ass low. Says trust in your highway and do good. Go out and teach. Do your sit downs. Pray. All right. Puts the vibration of righteousness. That's the doing good part. So shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. The Lord will take care of you. You know, whatever you're dealing with, the Lord will take care of you. But you got to trust in the Lord. You got to have that faith. Here's the point. Delight thyself also in Yahweh, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. So when you delight yourself in something, uh, you have a sense of happiness that comes from whatever you delight in. There's a sense of comfort in, in whatever you're getting your delight from, you know? So you have to delight yourself in the Lord. The Lord, your house shall come in a volume on a book. So you got to be reading. You got to be reading. You got to be studying. You got to be meditating. There's all kinds of scriptures going into meditating on the word, you know? But you have to delight yourself in the Lord. You should be getting happiness from the truth. You know, and like I said, through the spirit, there is balance. You know, you're going to experience, you know, your trials, your tribulations, the different things that the Lord put, put you through just to test you. And you don't always look at tests as being something bad because the test is what builds your character and the faith. Get you experience. And, you know seeing the deliverance that the Lord 
as rock for you. So, you know, you got to embrace, embrace it. But as it is written, there is no chastisement for the moment. Seem as uh, joyous, but grievous. So, you know, we are going through things, you know, it is grievous because like, oh, man, you know, what shall I do? But then when you revert back to the scripts, the scripts speak about standing still. You know, let the Lord handle it. Put your burden on the Lord. All right. Being patient when I'll turn to a lower state. You know, you got to delight yourself in the word of the Lord and apply it. And by doing so, you showing the Lord that, hey, this truth is what gives you happiness. You believe it. You trust in it. And that's what the Lord delights in. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. So you got to commit your way to the Lord. You got to dedicate yourself to this. Trust. Trust also in him. Have the faith and he shall bring it to pass. You know, he going he gonna to do whatever you need. You know, as long as you ain't doing, you know, asking for a miss. You know, James, the book of James going to that. Asking for a miss, asking for too much, you know. Yahweh Shai said, ask for daily bread. You know, so I just want to, you know, go into that. You know, delight thyself also in the Lord. Quick lesson, walking and talking. And, uh, hey, you know, we focus on the prophecies, you know, first and foremost. But you got to make sure you read these Psalms. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, the Proverbs. Wisdom of Solomon, Songs of Solomon, you know, reading the different accounts of our forefathers. That scriptural knowledge will build you up, build your character up. So, Lord willing, it was edifying for the elect. Shalom, Mikey.